Hello and welcome to this video about the Meridian 507. Uh, <laughs> this is a very quirky unit and uh, like with the best of them, uh, you know, French units are like that but also English, you know, the, the, in both name and, and Meridian and, uh, and some others, um, Roxanne can be, can be quirky, particularly their transport. But anyway, uh, there's no nonsense here. There's just normal engineering, even Jamaican capacitors, which I hide with passion, but also new you can use there, so which are good. But um, I like this series logic. I think it's 4397, which is used in electrical companies. I really like that DAC and I like the sound of it. Um, you think you're getting some kind of proper <laughs> transport here, right? So this is just uh, stuck with double-sided tape on top, okay? It serves no purpose other than to look good. Well, maybe extra mass. And then there's this cage. That cage is an interface between the chassis and VAM 1250. And, and here you, you, you can see how it is really a, a homemade unit because it sits on that foam. Then comes the chassis on top, right? Then there is uh, more foam on that, and there is a, a bracket that holds it together. That's from both sides. So, um, and inside, and inside you get that. <laughs> and that is. VAM 1250. To me, the only thing that's better in it than, you know, like $10 uh, VAM, you know, 1201 or 1202, is that motor. That's a whole effect motor, and uh, which it's harder to test, but it's nice and smooth. Although in this case, I thought that this was, because um, I took away the bridge, you know, with that cage and everything, you just cannot put a laser meter in there. It's, it's just uh, so difficult to work on it that you have to really rip it apart. And of course, once you do, you cannot measure anything. So I got rid of that bridge and, um, and then I found out that this thing here lost its um, magnet. But in fact, it hasn't. It just has this puck and that puck mates very well with it. So um, normally there is like a... You know, all that is flash, even with, with like, a um, um, pressed magnet. But obviously they got rid of that. It's still magnetic. It's still magnetic, still attracts stuff, and, and it attracts that uh, that puck. So all is good, but it just looked like, uh, like a fault. Anyway, to the VAM 1250. Uh, that's the problem, you see. VAM 1250 is only used in a handful of units. They're all very classy and very expensive and therefore you can't get any of them for parts without spending a lot of money. So of course nobody ever made those um, lasers because well why would they? There's only a handful of them. These were very expensive, few of them, so there is um, no point of getting any. So there we go. You can get one for 32 euros from Donberg, which is a very nice Irish company. But these are second hand, you see, and um, refurbished, tested, not for Class A, good for Meridian, no good for Philips recorders. The thing is that they only give you a head. They don't give you the rest of it. So if they have motor files, well, too bad, so sad, you know, the, 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 the whole effect motor. Because that, again, was used only in expensive units. So there you go. Uh, this is going to be very expensive repair because it just, I must have spent two or three hours, three hours perhaps on it. In, I haven't done anything, you know, I've just uh, ascertained that the laser is dead completely, no emissions. So it won't turn anything. You know, I've tested the motor, the motor is fine. Because, you know, if, if the laser doesn't get a reflection, doesn't focus 
then the servo doesn't turn on the motor, at least not in this unit. So, um, so there you go. And that's the servo board that sits underneath that uh, mechanism. I've replaced uh, four capacitors. Two are really bad, surface bound. But the third one was good and a couple were sort of double the uh, allowed um, equivalency with resistance. So that's uh, enough for today. Uh, I'll have to tell the owner the bad news, but I think he sort of expected that. You know, well, beautiful condition of this unit. I mean, really like new and well packed. He's got the original package and all, but um, you know, not easy to work on, not easy to get parts. Well, thank you very much, and till the next one. Bye bye.